7.36 a.m. and it's cold as shit. All right, so as you can see, I am fishing this morning. It's freaking cold, it's 30, 39 degrees this morning and uh, I'm the only person on this lake. This is a lake I don't think I've ever really filmed at. And if I have, it's been a couple years. Essentially, my goal is to catch some fish, preferably some freaking giants. All right, so as you can see, that's my tackle box. There's like layers and layers of tackle there. I was too lazy to put them in this compartment. So they're going to be in there. So I'm going to start the morning off with actually a buzz bait. Although it's basically snowing out right now, I ran a poll on Twitter and I asked what you guys wanted me to see or what did you guys want me to throw? What did you guys want to see me throw in a video? And I believe, I haven't checked it since last night, but I believe a buzz bait won. So I'm going to give a buzz bait a shot. You know, if I was in a tournament, this definitely would not be my first choice, given that I'm about to get frostbite. But who knows? You never know. The water temp right now is showing 53 degrees, which is definitely not the ideal top water temperature, but sometimes you can get, you'd be surprised. So I'm gonna give a top water shot, and then if that doesn't work, I'm, uh, I might actually fish deep today, which is kind of odd. I don't know, I never, th I never fish deep really on camera. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of that, and then uh, might flip some trees and just kind of do a little bit of junk fishing essentially just trying to catch some fish because that's the that's the end goal anyways right also speaking of twitter i tweeted for no shave november that if i get a thousand retweets i will grow the dirtiest freaking mustache you've ever seen my girlfriend doesn't want me to obviously because that's just weird but i need a thousand retweets so i'm going to link the twitter tweet the tweet from Twitter down below. Do me a huge favor and go retweet it. Have all your friends retweet it. It's something that I really want to do um, to bring awareness to men's health uh, for November. Uh, so really show your support. You don't even have to follow me on Twitter. I really don't even care. Just, just seriously click the link down below when you're done watching this video right now. Open a tab, open your phone. It's Fishing with Flair. Retweet that tweet and you'll see the dirtiest mustache you've ever seen. Oh, oh, I just had one. Okay, okay. All right, you guys ready? Oh, boy, we found them. We best be dropping the poles. The boat's about to run over the top of this fish, but if I can hurry up and get my Senko out there, I might be able to catch it. Let's see if this works. Sometimes it works. You guys have seen it in videos where it works. Sometimes it doesn't work, but that's a good sign, though. That means there's fish in this lake. That's always a good sign. One tip that I can share with you guys, um, since... I try to give as many tips throughout my videos as possible is anytime you're fishing a top water really in general, but especially like a buzz bait or a walking bait, you always want to parallel the banks like I am right now. Obviously, if I had a guy in the back of my boat, I wouldn't be doing this because that's back boating. If you guys have heard that term, that's what it means is because he basically would get really crappy places to fish. Um, but if you're on the bank, go stand on the edge and cast parallel just like I am right now. Uh, or if you've got your boat, just parallel the bank. As you can see, I'm running parallel to this one right here. Oh, here's a fish. Okay, well, that, okay. Well, that's for sure not the size we're looking for, but uh, I mean, I caught a fish. I see a Jerome. Well, I caught, I was Snapchatting. I mean, I was posting a Snapchat of me fishing. I thought it'd be kind of cool. And uh, there was a fish munching on my Senko. So I guess, I mean, it's a good thing that I caught him, but I should probably put my phone down focus on filming a freaking YouTube video. I'm seeing a bunch of bait fish and stuff bust on the surface, which I don't have a whole lot to throw, but I've got a chatter bait and a jerk bait, which both resemble a, like a shad or some type of bait fish. So I'm gonna take these dudes out of the locker quick. Let's uh, see if we can catch some jerk bait fish. Water's super clear, super clear. It's way clearer than any other lake that I've fished around here in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. So I'm gonna see if I can find some schooling fish, throw a jerk bait around and uh, Hopefully hook into a freaking donkey. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? Did I catch one first cast? First cast, what is it? 
Oh, snap. What is up with me catching crappie on jerk baits? Well, that's my kind of crappie on jerk baits, my PB crappie. This little dude's not, not that big, but okay, well, I'm guessing that's the bait fish that I'm seeing out there. If that's if that's what hit my uh, little jerk bait. I'm not much of a pan fisherman, but uh, I guess I guess that's kind of cool to catch a little crappie crappie. There's one. That's a bass. That's definitely a bass. Oh yeah. Oh baby, the jerk bait. Oh the jerk bait. Heck yeah, dude. That's actually a good one. That's over two pounds. Which I know some of you guys might be thinking two pounds is not good, but for an Omaha, Nebraska lake, it's not bad considering I'm fishing in freaking 40 degree weather. Heck yeah, that makes me so freaking excited. I don't ever really get to catch fish on jerk baits. Usually you want to throw them in the fall and in the spring. Now that just goes to show they'll eat them in the fall that's awesome that's exactly what i wanted is this little chunker right there obviously i want to catch a few bigger ones than that but uh i'll take that little dude for now it's uh not a half bad fish to uh not really start the day i've been out here for probably 20 minutes or so but first uh first good fish of the day right there on the jerk bait see you jacob and this bait's kind of jesus christ Holy crap, there's literally someone hunting like right next to me. They're, they just shot at a flock of geese, it looks like. Well, in this episode of Fishing a Flare, I uh, attempted to dodge shotgun BBs while uh, catching largemouth bass. So I've made the switch to fishing deep. Just throwing a wobblehead creature bait. Basically in the middle of the lake. I don't, I don't know this lake very well. I don't really know if there's any offshore stuff, but I'm just going to drag this dude around and see if I can catch anything. There's a bite. Yep, there's one. Oh, goodness. Is it, I can't tell. Oh, it's a good one. It's not a big one. It's not a big one, but it's, a, it's definitely a good fish. There we go. That's a two and a half. Big mouth on that dude. Ooh, heck yeah, a little bit bigger than that uh, jerkbait fish. Check that out. That's uh, some offshore stuff that you guys don't ever really see me do on my channel. Nebraska brute right there. Definitely no biggins, but the tactic I'm using is definitely a way to catch some biggins. So I'm gonna stick to it and uh, see if we can catch more beauties like that guy. See you later, Shia LaBeouf. There's one. Oh, there we go, out in the middle. I'm using my trolling motor to uh, basically drag my bait around to find some rock piles or anything. That's another deep fish. There's a good one. I'll toss around the scale just to see what, this is definitely the biggest one so far, so I just wanna see what my, what my biggest is gonna run me. That's another deep, I was just about to stop fishing deep and go into the creek and flip trees and stuff. Cause I've been fishing deep for about 20, 30 minutes more and without a bite. My guess is just a touch over two pounds. Toss around the real sonar scale here and uh, see what we got. Yep, 212. Just a touch over two, I was right on with that one. Not a giant by any means, but uh, like I said, it's it's a nice fish, especially for small little lakes like this in Nebraska. I mean, this is really, I wish I had, my, I, wish I had a drone to kind of throw up and show you guys how big this lake is. It's really not that big, but um, finding some fish here. See you later, Devin. This is fun. As you can see, it's cold. Um, luckily these bibs are pretty warm, keeping me nice and toasty, but it's nice and calm. It's sunny, it's a beautiful Thursday morning, and we're catching fish. There's some rocks I'm feeling down there. Keep the trail motor moving and just basically keep dragging this. There's a fish. Yep. There it is. <laughs> I told you. Felt those rocks. I'm water skiing them. That's usually not a good sign if you're water skiing them. Oh, he's just a little guy. That's funny. There's uh, some little dudes down there too feeding. I think they're basically, they're just literally in the channel. Um, or right next to the channel, I guess, on the rocks. Probably feeding on the crawfish and stuff for the winter. Got another, another fish. 
catching them, catching them out deep. That's good. I think I've kind of got them dialed in. This is a tactic I don't really ever use, so it's kind of fun for me. I hope it's fun for you guys to watch. All right, I am uh, going to stop fishing deep. I think I need to tie on like a Texas rig or something to to fish. Um, there's some trees and stuff in the back of this creek, and I'm just going to go flip and pitch some of that stuff and see if I can catch fish. Since it's calm outside, I'll probably go with a, uh, I don't know what size this is, a fairly small tungsten sinker. I know I've mentioned this before quite often, is uh, I use a tungsten sinker company that has extremely, extremely cheap tungsten. Like I said, I've, I know I've mentioned this, so I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this, um, but I wanted to, to say this for my new viewers, that uh, I'll leave the link in the description for them, of course. It's a tungsten company called OM Fishing Sinkers, and they basically sell tungsten like dirt, dirt cheap. I know a lot of you guys are, are young or just don't have a large fishing budget, so if tungsten seems too expensive for you, you know, at Tackle Warehouse or at retailers and stuff like that, I'll put the link in the description. Go check out their website. It's, uh, it's, it's where I get all my tungsten from just because it's it's cheap and I mean honestly tungsten is tungsten so it really doesn't matter where you get it just thought I'd throw that tip in there for you guys I know I always try to do what I can to save y'all money there's one. Oh, he, he came off oh y'all see that That was a maybe eight inch fish that I slung through the water about three feet and he came off. Well, that bait's toast. There's one, there's one. Right on that pause, I jerked it and then paused it. That feels like a much better fish. This could be a good sized one. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. Might be the biggest one. And not quite, probably pretty close though. I bet he's right around that little low low twos. He said, I'm just using the troll motor to kind of feel around for rocks. And then once I find them, I'm usually casting them. Right there, I was searching. And uh, I didn't really feel any rocks, but I kind of jerked it up once and then paused it. And uh, that little dude right there, yeah. He crushed it. That's awesome. Still catching fish. There's a lot of people at this lake right now, so I'm trying to not not talk too loud right now and let people know I caught a fish. But uh, good, a uh, little little chunky chunky right there. See you later, Gavin. Ooh, Gavin got attitude. So I am officially off the water, but I want to do what I always do, which is try to give you guys some tips. And I did talk a lot throughout this video, so I'm probably not going to really go over a ton other than just a little bit of what I was doing, maybe that I didn't touch on while I was fishing in the video. That eh, looks good. As you can see, I caught, I think like maybe five or six bass. I missed a few flipping, but caught quite a few. So I caught most of my fish out deep. I did catch, I think a crappie and maybe a bass or two on a jerk bait. Um, went on a Senko and then the rest were on this little dude right here. So that was basically like my main, my main lure of choice was this. And you guys kind of saw what I was doing. This is a lake that I don't fish very often. It's a small lake. This is probably not a tactic you could use on a giant reservoir. Um, but on a small lake, I feel like, you know, maybe a couple hundred acres and no wake lake, stuff like that. Like I was fishing today, a great tactic is to put on like something real heavy, like a wobble head or a big Texas rig or a jig. And what you do is you really honestly just go out in the middle. It helps if you know where the channel is. I kind of, I had an idea where the channel was and I kind of stayed right around that area. So what you do is you take this dude out there and you bomb it. And I was kind of cheating. It's not really like frowned upon or anything like that. Basically I'm using the trolling motor to kind of stroll or troll or drag my bait. I don't know what the, the appropriate term is for it. Um, I'm not using the big motor. So I know that's, that's illegal in tournaments. I don't think using the troll motor is illegal. So that's what I was doing was basically just dragging it. And then as soon as I started feeling like pebbles or anything like that, any type of like chunk rock, um, that's when I was getting my bites. And then what would happen is if I felt like a long patch of them, um, and I didn't catch anything, I'd reel in and I would just make a long cast. And then what you do is when you're retrieving it, 
this bait you just kind of slowly reel it or you can drag it you can hop you can do really whatever you want today it seemed like they just kind of wanted it slowly dragging on the bottom so that was really the tactic um, as far as colors go i went with like a green pumpkin red flake uh, for the fact that it's sunny and this water is clear so you want something that's natural maybe a little bit translucent um, i mean i probably could have caught them on black and blue i'm not really sure how big of a difference it makes on this lake it really just depends on the lake a lot of lakes you can throw whatever color you want a lot of them they really just want green pumpkin but a good starting point is uh is green pumpkin like that if you guys want to know the rod the reel and the line that i was using check down below i'll put the dis put that in the description for the jerk bait and uh for this lure right here as well as that tungsten sinker company that i was talking about um it's just i don't know it's just a cheap way to buy tungsten is really all it is and i just one of my goals in this whole YouTube thing is to teach you guys how to fish and how to do it, um, spending the least amount of money possible. So without taking any more of your guys' time, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this fishing uh, episode of flare, flare fishing, whatever I just said. You guys get the point. This was fun. I, this is something I haven't done. I really honestly can't believe that it worked. Um, that I actually caught fish doing this, just blindly casting it in the middle of the lake and dragging it around to find little rock, rock patches and piles and. I don't know, it's it's kind of fun. This is just really just a tactic that I just wanted to experiment with today, as well as I caught fish on a jerk bait, which is kind of interesting and kind of new. So, I mean, hopefully this was kind of a change of pace from throwing a Senko out there and throwing a frog and throwing a chatterbait. I know it gets kind of boring with just throwing the same old lures. Please leave a thumbs up if you like the fishing vlogs. Drop a comment down below if you want to see me use different tactics. If you want me to teach you guys how to do something that I haven't been doing, uh, where you want me to travel to next, anything. You guys should let me know, I read all of them. That's it for today's episode. Peace. Oh my, well, that's a strike three for flipping. I'm really just doing terrible today.